This is our latest SuperVap concentration and evaporation system. It's specifically uh, designed for evaporating up to 24 vials at one time for uh, the analysis of PFAS. So this is a SuperVap 24 PFAS system. So uh, to the left we have a, uh, a tray of 24 samples, so that's two runs off of one uh, easy PFAS system. And uh, you can, as you can see, we have the, the, the vial, okay? And so the first step of this is we're going to lift the cover and uh, start to put the 24 different vials in here. This is a dry bath. Uh, so there's no water involved and uh, we're using a, uh, a sensor for uh, just uh, detecting time and heat. Uh, there is no endpoint sensor on this. You're just going to set a, a time to go to dryness or two mils, uh, etc. And we will give you the settings to, to do that. Actually, it's already pre-programmed. As you can see, it's a very small format. It's a 13 by 13 inch format, so it can fit basically anywhere uh, in the laboratory. So you can see it loads up very quickly. Uh, we're going to latch that down. It's got some HEPA filters here on the front. That's to uh, eliminate the possibility of any contaminants from the laboratory getting into it. Uh, I'm just going to give you a quick overview in the back here or just look at the front. This is um, basically uh, the top. Uh, you really can't see much down in there except for the, the vials and um, the nozzles going in. Not very exciting, but here you have um, a nitrogen setting that you can you know go up to 15. Uh, we run at um, around five we find is ideal for this and we also run at uh, 65 degrees so we're gonna we just uh, selected the the run method and as you can see we have uh, 65 degrees selected we have temperatures from 35 to 80 pre-programmed here so there's not really a lot of programming that you need to do we're going to hit the all uh, button and that's going to start the process so you just saw the heater light come on um, there's a, a 5 psi nitrogen stream now hitting uh, these vessels and uh, we have the timer set to around uh, six to 65 minutes these will start well it was I should correct myself 55 minutes these start to finish anywhere from 60 to 70 minutes to complete dryness and uh, it does vary because it depends on how dry you get your extract. If there's water in your methanol then water um, is definitely going to take longer to uh, evaporate um, from this system. So we'll come back at uh, different times and, and show you the different levels. I'm going to show you the back of the instrument quickly here and uh, as you can see this can be run completely outside of the hood. There's a, an, a nice uh, exhaust fan there with a very powerful exhaust fan with an exhaust hose that comes with the system. This is a, a quick disconnect uh, nitrogen fitting. So your nitrogen you want coming into that at 40 and then just your you know, power switch. Uh, in the back, so you know, pretty straightforward um, system, very simple, economical, and uh, does a great job compared to a lot of the manual ways that you're you're currently doing it. So <clears throat> we will uh, just come back in um, ten minutes. Okay, we're going to take a look at this at twenty minutes. Okay, as you see, we're at uh, about uh, four and a half mils. 
we'll come back in 30 minutes to take a look at it and done. Okay, we're back at 30 minutes. So we'll take a look and see where we're at at 30 minutes. Okay, let's take a look at that. Lower that a little bit. Whoop. How many mils? We're at about three, two and a half. Okay. Okay, so it's a uh, 70 minutes, and um, the vast majority of these are all finished. Uh, some were finished around uh, 60 minutes, but um, we decided to just let it continue on for the sake of uh, keeping the video short, and uh, we'll show you some of those right now. So if you pull a vial out, uh, and as you can see, that's dry. Lower that a little bit, please. A little bit lower. Okay, and so that shows that these have all come to dryness. You can show another one if you like. And then there's another one. So, yeah, it works pretty good. Like I said, we set the time for pretty much 60 minutes, and then we start to check the vials, uh, you know, for the next uh, five or ten minutes to make sure we catch them when they go dry. So, as you can see, it's got a very small format. It does a large volume, of basically a batch of PFAS extracts in uh, 70 minutes. So, pretty fast, pretty efficient. It's unattended. Um, they can run outside of the hood. It's got a very small uh, footprint, and it's inexpensive. So, if you have any questions, please contact us for any further information. Thank you.